security because I know where the road goes. And you can't, you can't get complacent with it, but you can use your local knowledge to help further the, the ride information. Think back to the near side, there's a right hand bend, right hand bend, opens up. I can see the road goes to the left, so I'm going to take the position. And everything I do here is smooth and controlled, and it, it's definite. Park van, so already I'm going to move to the left, prepare to ease down. You can see an oncoming car just over the brow. So, is it likely this post van's going to stop again? Yes, he does. There's an oncoming car, so I can't, oh, I can't overtake. Quick worry check before we go again. Off we go. Still have water on the right, but it won't pose a threat. There's a big one there. Two big tractors. Where are they going to go? Are they going to come out? Are they going to bring luck with them? I should have been left here earlier, but that's okay. Quick mirror check before back up to speed. Speed, cruise control on, and relax. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's actually quite difficult commentating over a ride because I'm trying to do things and then think about them as well and then say them. So I'm sure there's things I've missed through this video, and that's okay. I mean, dog on the left, it's on the lead, it might run out, but it hasn't. Man, there a jeep runner. There's nothing. There's no danger there, but you have you have to think about it. What might it do? What might it re What might reasonably happen? And if it's reasonably expected to happen, well, plan ahead. Look for it. Plan ahead. And if you're not looking for it, then it's don't expect to be surprised when it appears in your face. There's no one around, so no, no indicator required. Can carry on. There's no point. Still in the 30s, I'll remember. So I'm not not going too mad yet. There's no need to position to either you know to either extreme for the view. No need. Just chill, chill out. Let's go chase this car down. Yeah. Position for view, I can see over the heads there's telegraph poles and they're on the right hand side, which means realistically the road goes to the left. And it does, look, it's an awfully big left, awfully big left. There's a change of direction to the right, so position to the near side. There's the right, there's the right, there's the right. It's a big long one. But there's no danger, there's no need, there's no real need to be extreme position here. Now there is oncoming van, so I'm going to give it space and an oncoming T junction. So I'm going to position the crop, quick mirror check, position to the centre of the lane. Which neutralises the danger from both sides of the junction. Uh, lorry depot here on the right. There's nothing there, it's Saturday, there's, there's no one at work, there's 
no real issue. Men working at the left here, calling out. Again, no danger, but it would be less, well, maybe, but less danger than the lorry or the HGV, whatever, whatever it may be in your country. So looking forward again, road goes to the left, section to the centre of the lane, in the, in the wind tracks of the vehicle ahead. If you imagine the vehicle ahead, where its wind tracks would be, that's where I am. I'm not at the white line and I'm not at the centre. So I'm going to, yep, okay, clear this, clear the car. Again, there's no panic. All I did was roll, there was no, no gear change, no braking, all I did was roll off. Give the car speed. Give the car space to finish the manoeuvre. There is no, there's no drama. I mean, a, a YouTuber type motorcyclist who likes to be on compilations may have rev bombed and hit the horn a few times and used colourful language, but why? There is no need. There was space. There was time. To be honest, I personally don't like that style of riding, to get angry at everything because there's really no point. There's no point. Just stress yourself out and I'm out on the bike to relax and unwind and enjoy myself. Don't need that. It's not what I'm after in a bike ride. So, see something slow ahead, so I'm bringing the bike speed down. I'm going to guess it's a tractor. No. It wasn't, but it can't be right all the time. In this following position, three cars in front. I can see. I, I have a few. I can see. Where, I can see where the road goes. I can see it's clear. Mainly because if there was anything, let's say anything vulnerable, like a cyclist or a, a learner, learner moped rider or horse rider, even a stray dog, the, the cars in front, I would expect to react, and none of them have. All I'm doing is a position for my own view, but I'm still hanging back from the cars. There won't, I know the road. There won't be an overtake on for quite some time, so I'm just going. I'm going to sit here. There's no point in closing up because I'm not going to get anywhere. This is what this is one thing that gets me, especially with you know Instagram beggars and YouTube kind of beggars. They're, they ride the same roads all the time, and they get to know where they're. They get to know where they're going. They get to know the road. They think, oh, that's a good. There's a good roundabout. Let's get our knee down on that. But when you get when you get your knee down on that roundabout, you're on a public road, dipshit. That that's not the time or place, in my opinion. Now that's not to say. I would, you know, I, I would love to get my knee down, I would love to be a knee down rider, but I'm not going to do it on this open road, because around this corner it could be three tractors, it could be a flock of sheep, it could be a herd of cows, it could be anything. And no, it's not worth it. So I've, had a, I've had a lovely view of the road ahead, you might have seen that on the camera. Nothing in the bend, nothing, nothing, it's all clear. Quick mirror check, and we're back up to speed. No, no panic, there's no, no drama, no panic, nothing. Smooth, smooth, calm, control. And this isn't, this, this, this video, this ride, isn't, it, it's not put on for the tubes as such. This is how I ride all the time. 
no information sign, junction up ahead, this car's turning right. There's no no danger from no danger from either side. Quick mirror check, I'm back up to speed. Looking forward again, there's a bendy sign. A left a left and a right. There's also a slow painted in the centre of the road, which gives you all the information you need. There's a farm on the left, so you can expect muck, gravel and maybe diesel on a wet day, maybe oil, who knows. But still holding out, holding out. Think gravel in the centre of the lane, which is why you don't corner in the centre of the lane. Moving back across with the right hand end. He's easing down on the throttle. Bike's, bike's just just beginning to pull on the revs. See? Why why do people make such a meal of this? Again, looking forward to Stagger Junction and the road off to the right. There's nothing at either of the junctions. The oncoming Jeep and trailer, so I'm going to give it space. And then I can do this. See, I kept it wide. But if that Jeep and trailer wasn't there, and I, ha I had the view, I would have cut that on the right hand. I would have cut that on the centre line. But I wouldn't do that if I couldn't see where I was going first. Never. Never put your front wing where your eyes haven't been first. And that holds true in the car as well. I know this road too, it's, there's a horse um, motocross track down here on the left. So it could be busy, it's Saturday, it could be busy, there could be drivers in and out with trailers, there could be... Yeah, it's possible. Some up on the road here. But positioned early, avoided it, no real drama. I was right, <laughs> the track's in use today. Um, not, not not a problem. Hor horse signs, we expect horses and there's some in the field. They're quite safe. And another bend sign. Which means we're going to the right and then to the left. So speed off, gear down. There's the right. Stand it up. Position for the left. There's the road opens up. Go. Not a problem. No drama, no fuss, no panic. Another sign approaching and it is for a junction. Junction to the right. But the road also goes to the left. You can see the, the, the white line. You can see the white line turn to the left. Which indicates the limit point of the corner. Street lights back again, we've got a roundabout sign. We've got an end of a national sign, which means the road we're going on to is a 60 to 70 mile per hour limit, being that it's a dual carriageway with a central divide. So we'll clear the car to the right. Some gravelly shit there, not a problem to me. And around we go. Now I can see I can see already that there's a car to my left. It is a tailing piece, so quick shoulder check. Did cut lame because well, there was a car there. Back up the speed. No drama, nothing. The, the advanced way of riding has improved my life and my riding so much. But that's a quick. I say quick, it's probably 40 minutes. Uh, fairly quick rural road, B, A road, B road kind of, kind of ride. What to look out for, hopefully, and if I missed anything, I'll, I'll annotate it over the video. But again, nothing to the right. Gravelly shit there in the roundabout. But I was positioned for it and the speed was down, so there's no, there's no panic. I'm also scrubbing in new tyres, so I'm tr trying not to be too lean heavy on the roundabout. And thank you very much for watching folks.